Okay, this is uh, something like the fourth or fifth attempt to do a, a video tour of my freezer and fridge. So it's a 526 litre fridge freezer. It uses less power than my two fridges I used to have uh, whilst being nearly twice the capacity. So freezer first, we've got Velvia 50. Uh, 30 boxes I think, so about 150 rolls. Velvia 100, 20 rolls. Uh, Provia 400X, 10 rolls. Astia 100F, uh, about 30 rolls. 20 rolls of Kodak Ektachrome E100 VS. Uh, 40 rolls of uh, E100G. Five each of T-Max and Tri-X 400. Um, some Riala 100, some Pro 400H, and some Pro 160 NS. Then the bulk rolls, the Pride and Joy Super Presto Neopan 1600. Uh, we have five pro, uh, or bulk rolls of FP4. We have ten each of HP5. Oh, sorry, ten HP5, and then one each of Delta 100, Delta 400. Uh, then we have four by five, so we have some Delta Delta 100. We have some Kodak E100G, some FK PR100, 17 boxes of Velvia 50. Um, Stocking up on that since it's been announced as discontinued, although still available in Japan. Um, 10 each of T Max and Tri X 400, 10 FK IR820 infrared black and white film, some HP5, some FP4. Uh, I actually have 14 boxes of rolls of Elite Chrome Extra Color. Two boxes of Lomo uh, Sunset Strip X Pro Film. Some miscellaneous 120s, so some Portra 160, some Ektar, some Lomo stuff, some Velvia, some Astia. Eight more rolls of Astia. Plus this uh, sort of half-used boxes. So Astia 100F, Velvia 100, Provia 100, and Riala 100. So lots of 100 speed now that I think about it. Um, so that is the freezer, that's the overview. On to the fridge now. So, at the top here, some large format. Uh, three open boxes, so that's some Delta 100, some Portra 400, and some Provia 100F. One unopened box of Velvia 50 in 8x10 for whenever I get an 8x10 camera. Uh, one box of HP5 um, 100 cheap but expired. 35 mil, so there's about 16 rolls of Astia in there, 20 rolls of Fuji Riala 100, 20 rolls of Kodak E100 VS, uh, 29 rolls of Superior 1600 and some Elite Chrome here, some Polaroid Viva, uh, I think that's 6 boxes, something like 15 boxes of Polaroid Spectra, uh, maybe a bit less than 15, but something, um, Insects Wide, Polaroid 600, um, Polaroid Artistic Time Zero, um, and then behind that actually some more Polaroid 600. One box of Polaroid Blue, don't really like blue, it's probably my least favourite pack film, but I've got one box, I'll use it at some point. Uh, this is uh, Polaroid uh, 667, their 3000 speed black and white film, equivalent to uh, Fuji FP3000B. Um, here we have four boxes each of Polaroid 690, and then Polaroid 669. Uh, then I have some random FP100C. There's a lot more on its way to stock up since the discontinuation. Um, I have some Polaroid 664 and one empty uh, or open box of that. Uh, I think I have six or five boxes of sepia, eight boxes of chocolate, a uh, bunch of FP3000B here, a bunch of FP100C45, uh, just two boxes of FP3000B45, so saving that for a special occasion. FP100B, about 30 boxes. All of this is FP3000B, so quite a bit of that. And then this bottom uh, section is the sort of further expired thing. So, what do we have? We've got uh, Portra 160 NC, Portra 160 VC, T-Max 100, Polaroid 72, which is a 400 speed 4x5 instant film, Rihanna Milford Rolls, Delta 100, 400 and 3200, uh, we have Provia 1, uh, what is this, Provia 400X, um, Portra 160, Velvia 100, 
uh, Velvia, original Velvia, so that's um, before they reformulate, reformulated it and called it Velvia 50. Provia 100F. Um, this is Provia 100F and 35. Lomo X Pro, also known as Kodak Elite Card. Uh, Triax, random black and white stuff. Velvia 100F. Uh, Velvia 50 and 220. E100VS. Some random stuff. And Kodak Ektachrome E100S. Haven't tried that yet. Uh, so that's the sort of further expired stuff. Then we have my working uh, boxes of 35mm and one random roll of 126. So here we have, I think this is, yeah, that's E6. So uh, Velvia and 5100, and I think some Provia. Then we have some C41. So we have um, Fuji Pro 800Z, uh, Superior 800, Superior 400, Ag for 200, Ektar. Um, so that's all my color boxes. Uh, this says HP5, but it's actually some HP5 and then some bulk rolled T-Max 400. Then we have black and white, which um, as the name suggests is black and white. Ilford Pan F50, uh, Adox Silver Max, Ilford SFX 200, uh, infrared. Pack. My working container of 120, we've got some Ilford, we've got some T-Max, we've got some Ektar and some Portra 800. Then I have my random box of 35, lots of Ag for 100, um, lots of random consumer grade color film, mostly some Triax in there, some Lomo 120, black and white 400, Earl Grey or Lady Grey, whatever that is, more of that. Ancient HP5, um, so before the plus, this expired in September 1986, can't really read that there, but that's what it says. Um, some 110 film, some Color Loma 800, some Instax Mini, one lone box of Time Zero Original, one super rare box of Time Zero Fade to Black. Definitely saving that for a special occasion. Uh, Spectra Soft Tone, a test pack of Impossible Film, and then this is all the film that's already been shot. So it's mostly black and white, but we've also got some E6 and some C41. And some consumables. So there you go. That is my film fridge. Um, it's growing all the time. Um, I do wonder where I'm going to find room for my incoming stash of FP100C. But maybe that means um, taking one of those old fridges uh, out of the garage and, and giving it a new life. So there you go.